Terraform is science fiction word, the process of finding a distant planet that's inhabitable in the process of making that planet livable. I just kind of thought, you know, the Earth is getting less and less livable. What if we considered our lives, our families, the planet we live on itself, our politics, our community, and then ultimately like our businesses as terraforming projects? There's a, a moment, I think, culturally, whether it's personal or individual, like in your own life, but in also the, the macro sense, that we actually built the world we live in now. That being said, if it's not serving us well, then let's build something else. I don't know what that something else is. You know, I, I think I have glimpses. I have moments where I think this is probably a better way to be. Born in South Central, I grew up most of my life in 20 minutes east of there in the San Gabriel Valley in the city called La Puente. It was, or Valinda, depending on how much you know LA. So it was just this enclave that was very predominantly Mexican and Filipino. I think, I, I think in a lot of ways, like I'm genuinely like tri-cultural. I think that's part of just the backdrop of Los Angeles. So I think I just, I had a chance to experience so many different ways of, of doing life and understanding life. I always knew for me, I wanted to enjoy my day. That was success for me. The number never mattered to me. I want to enjoy what I do. I want what I do to matter. But I wanted to get the numbers and the success while doing what I enjoyed. And I want to believe in the product I put out. I think I got super motivated because I felt like as old as coffee is, specialty coffee is young enough as an industry for us to do something about. Like we haven't got too far out there to where we can't like reel this back in and create a more equitable world. There are ways, there are things that like people of color bring to community and the table that we just, we just handle things differently. You know what I'm saying? And I think that like, if you can bring that into this, you know, billion dollar industry, it makes community sense. So yeah, so when I was thinking about starting Terraform as a cold brew, it was already the book, it was already the albums. And then, you know, I did the micro lot drops. But when it was like, okay, we're gonna start a business, you know, and it's gonna be a cold brew. It was, yeah, it was a lot, just a bunch of hurdles, you know, and a lot of them were up here. So the Onyx situation actually started over the pandemic. It was, uh, uh, I was doing this thing on like Instagram Live called like Porigami Fridays. I was picking roasters that I knew to like feature and then bringing my artist friends on and showing them how to make pour overs. Me and John struck up a friendship. And then I was like, dude, I'm thinking about doing a cold brew. He was like, you want to, you want us to source it? Like he just said it like that, he wants to source it. I was like, yeah. Just because of like a lot of ways that they do like they pay 30% above market for uh, for their for their sourcing. So there's just, and it's all on the website. So we are on our way to uh, the Homie Trey's facility. Um, Terraform's been around at this point, uh, at least in the coffee version of it, has been around um, little, little, little under six months. Trey, one of those guys that like, even when he loses, he wins. Like, I just don't, I, some people just build like that. Like they just, you know, he was like, dude, I got a whole canning facility. He's like, come see it. We're pulling up. We're gonna um, check out the process, see the magic. And I'm, and I'm telling you, like, I've been here a bunch of times, but it still, still blows my mind. All right. 
All right, shot him a text. Trey, Trey, Trey. Hey, my brother. What's up, man? <laughs> How you doing? Hey, boy. How are you, man? Doing well. Good, Good, man. Bro. Back in town. You yeah. back in town. That's checking it, on man. Your, checking on your investments. You That's right, man. You're making some coffee, brother. <laughs> making some yeah. coffee. You want to make some coffee? Let's make some coffee. Let's do man. it, man. You want right. a cup? Y'all want a cup? You want a cup? You guys want a cup? Yeah. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. So you know, you go to a coffee shop and you have a shot of espresso, right? So espresso and coffee, it's the exact same thing, right? Like a cup of drip coffee through a filter. The only difference is how much coffee is in it, right? So whenever you're extracting coffee, you're you're essentially just transferring mass. You know what I'm saying? Like any type of brewing is if you got these like small granules of coffee and they're covered with all of this like really delicious, like these flavors and all these compounds and stuff. So you use water to extract that. And so espresso just does it really efficiently. So espresso is just really strong. That's why you can use like two ounces of espresso in a latte and you fill the rest up with milk and it tastes strong like coffee. So we just developed a way to make coffee like espresso, but like a lot stronger than espresso. And that measures, what's really cool about coffee is that since it's only two ingredients, you can measure everything about that. Because then I have a little instrument that'll right tell now? me how much, there it is, you gotta wear it, bro. Hey, listen, you gotta, <laughs> listen, this is, this is true. That's it. This is real coffee fan, you know what I'm saying? The right amount. on my freakishly expensive hoodie. <laughs> it's, it's the on the way to work, on the way to work, spilling on your shirt. It's bomb though, right? <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Thank you. There is, I'm Ness, pretty have to try sure. This. This Ness is, is the, working the camera. He's <laughs> let's, not, let's not act like that's not happening right now, guys. Like, Ness is actually working right yes. now, right? And we're just like sipping some coffee. <laughs> After this, if y'all want, we can go up to the mezzanine. Perfect. I'm saying like, I, I feel like the coffee experience, especially with like the snobbity is like, it's like the bell curve of like, when you like, when a person becomes a Christian, you know what I mean? It's like, you're just, the first time you're like immediately an evangelist, you're telling everybody, oh my God, it's the most amazing thing. You're just super so excited. And then somebody introduced you to like reform theology and then you just, you're a prick. You're just like, you just know everything. Everybody's a heretic. Nobody knows their Bible. And you're just like, and most of us are like, bro, shut up, dog. Like, yo, chill. Like, okay, I'm glad you're so excited about it. You know what I'm saying? But relax, fam. And then you come down the other end of that and you're just like, eh, it's, it's fine. Yeah, you like, love you know life. What I mean? right. like, you just love life. You just love, you know what I mean? Yeah, dude. Like, same thing. It's the same in coffee. Yeah. You're just that coffee bell curve. You're you get like, excited, man. You learn about terroir and the difference yeah. of the soil, and then you have different processes for coffee, and then different roast curves, and these thousands of variables that come into it. And then you just like, you get inundated, infatuated, right? We all have yeah, that honeymoon man. phase of just being infatuated. I'm still in the honeymoon phase with coffee. But then, but then you start to learn how little you actually know. Dude. And then, and like, then you start a, to be humble. This is a centuries old practice. <laughs> right, right. And you're, yeah, once you, it's like the person that's further down the road, you know, while you think you're being, you know, you're being like well versed in what you're saying. And, and that person's hearing you say, oh, you like light roast? I like medium roast. You're like, oh word, that's. <laughs> and if you're down the road a little, you're past the, the snobby part. You're like, oh. That's where you're gonna plant your fat flag on that. Yeah, right? it's like, okay. <laughs> Cool. Like, yeah, I mean, I like those things too. You know what I'm saying? But like, I don't need to, I'm not going to make fun of you for that. My suegro's house, you know, my suegra's house, yep. my, my mother-in-law's house, she's going to boil water with cinnamon sticks. She's going to make some cafe de olla and you know what I'm it's going to be delicious. And it's going to be great. You're going to love it. Yeah. It's going to be great. You know no, what I'm saying? Totally. Like yeah. I will say to everyone, I go to my grandmother's house and yeah. she's got a terrible coffee pot and buys Folgers and I'm putting cream and sugar in it. And I'm gonna enjoy it. And it's fine. I've had really enjoyable experiences of subpar coffee because of where I'm at. Dude, this village in Ethiopia, this lady said, after I bought something from her store, like, do you want some coffee? And I was like, uh, absolutely. It took 45 minutes, because if you've ever been in a traditional ceremony, you got it's green, you gotta roast it. And you know, they hand, you know, you hand grind, you roast it, and you do the thing. If you've ever been in a traditional coffee ceremony, part of the thing is like, in their culture, 
if if they invite you for if they if they invite you for tea, they're being polite, right? Because tea's quick. You just you just yeah. put it in water and it's done. I'm just being polite, like yeah. it's rude to not offer you something. Right. If I invite you for coffee, I'm saying I want you to sit down a while. That's the most incredible cup of coffee I've ever had in this Man. village with no running water. So that goes back to Terraform, right? Where yes. I think Terraform is taking delicious coffee in the way that you like coffee, in the way yeah. that I like coffee, and putting it out there, putting it in the hands of other people and saying, hey, this is a good yeah. cup of coffee, right? That's the Terraform. You are yeah. now in a new world. Like, it's just possibility. I just, there's a brand new possibility for you now that just a world that is, that is possible now because you didn't know coffee could do that. Multiply that to other areas of your life where you're just like, yo, I didn't know this could be like that.